Hi and welcome back to BNN. The late Brian Chira was laid to rest on March Tuesday 26th. May his soul rest in peace. And Chira clan, Bilona Jitambua, that is their fans, friends and the TikTok community at large, came through for him contributing a huge sum of about 10 million towards the funeral and also to ensure that later on Chira's grandma and family Aoma Kazinzwake that he was also kind of taking care of were mekwa sorted. One thing about the TikTok community is that they always come through for each other. The death of the late Brian Chira, the circumstances surrounding that came as a shock to many. And Wametuanyesha, that is what they do. They came together for Chira, who was one of their very own. Kudos to the TikTok community. Hapo kwa mchango, they showed up in a very mighty way. And kumekwa na some controversy and drama surrounding this entire funeral, with some people are noticing that the person spearheading the fundraiser, Baba Talisha that is, I may upgrade to an iPhone and an expensive camera going for about to 50k, to which he refuted the claims of having spared the cash for himself, saying that those items were gifts from well-wishers. The candlelight and viewing of the body happened over the weekend to which we saw the fans being urged when you alikuwa mekuja KU funeral home not to camera anything. We're in an era where everything is content and anything goes, at least hapa tukuwana people trying so hard to make content out of it, which was good by the way. Pale kwa candle lighting is where it seemed more like a bash. Everyone had their cameras out just recording or wanting to seem like yo, we were here. Otile Brown, as promised, showed up. Alisema angependa kuperform kwa funeral when he heard that the late Chira was a fan of his music. Ile song yake ya one call, he showed up, performed, gave a little speech and vamoosed. However much some people tried to paint it ni kama he was seeking clout, ama trying to push numbers for his music. Personally, I felt like that was something from the heart. No, knowing very well how jayongea na umtu na haumjui, na hata ujalipwa. What do you guys think? Mumias East MP Peter Salasia tunamjua tu kama some drama king though watu wanasema anafanya kazi kwa Mumias he showed up all the way from Western alikuwa anaenda Mombasa but akasema you know what I'll show up for this guy kuna venye alikuwa ananibamba kiplani though I have never really met him or talked to him so he showed up at the funeral paid his last respects na hata akachangia nyanya ya chira about 40000 Kenya shillings kila sasa ilikuwa inanishangaza is when he was coming like walking into the funeral the home People just bombarded him with cameras. Wengine ni kama wanachukua selfie. Hata hakuwa na room ya kutembea. And even some asking kama alipata bibi shwali. How is that related to the funeral? Thereafter the funeral, we saw a TikToker known as Cindy Baby. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Taking to social media to complain that she missed food. I know. And TikTok team master Prince Muiti was backing her up. Questioning. 850k was spent towards the funeral and yet the food provided on that day was only enough for 50 people. Also, he felt like the stage that was provided for Otile Brown to perform was squeezed and he bet that Otile did not like it. Pointing fingers at the organizers and where the 850k was spent. Hata utile akute, utile akufurai na yo event Na kuja muna zunguka mbaka musician Muna zunguka mbaka utile ata apumui Kata celeb baka ata apumui Vili, ikubuko disorganized Na 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 event ya shilingi mbili Event ya nyoni ya shilingi mbili ya 850k Which 850k Hata muwezi ya Ford stage Kuja ya pande, muna mpea meza Muna pia watu 50 chakula Olundi Munapea watu 50 chakula kia wengine kajisotini. Sijui kama ni disco matanga, but after Chira was laid to rest, people were having a good time just dancing to music, making content, and some people felt like manze mulikuja kuzika, just bury and go home. What are your thoughts on this? There was even a lady who was recorded at some point trying so hard to get content. She was busy with her phone, 
trying to get a very nice angle na ilikuwa inakaa ni kama she's in between someone's legs just for the sake of content in an article written by Nation Media it is reported that some villagers felt that what went down was disrespectful and against the Gikuyu culture that is pouring of alcohol on the grave dancing on the grave and they feel that there should be some cleansing of some sorts to win off whatever bad omen that may come with that People jokingly say utakufa, tutakuja kukula mchele, tutakuja kujua kwenyu, na wengine atakupiga sherehe. And maybe for some this was the case, a celebration of life, not a gloomy funeral. What do you guys think? If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time.